These long-jawed orb weavers are supposed to be in orb webs, but here they're in some sort of tangle web. The tangle web was everywhere, covering the trees, and it was dense with the long-jawed orb weavers. This juniper tree had between 10 and 30 spiders per cubic foot in the web covering. This critter that looks like a stick insect is actually a three inch long thread-legged bug and it's walking the web looking for leftovers. Here a sheet is shrink-wrapping the top of a tree. This wasp is also looking for spiders. It is looking for spiders to pluck off the web to take back to provision the nest for its young. The jumping spiders were really fat from eating all the long-jawed warbeers. But this particular one's been cornered by what looks like two, maybe three long-jawed orb weavers. It does eventually get away, though. All these white spots on the leaves are spider droppings, and they were everywhere covering everything. Spider droppings are called guano. This black muck is spider web that the storm had knocked onto the ground. The black stuff are the bodies of mosquito-like flies called midges. This stuff was crawling with beetles and other scavengers. 